Hello everyone and welcome to another Roaring Records tutorial. Today we are going to kind of wrap up this audio effects series with a discussion of distortion. Now, um, this is going to be an overly simplified version of how distortion works. But in its most basic form, if you think about your DAW having a limit, an upper limit and a lower limit for the amount of signal that it is able to produce. As long as the audio wave stays within this upper and lower limit, you've not added any type of distortion to the signal. The wave is able to fluctuate up and down and nothing is changing about the way the wave is recorded. However, if you begin to push that signal loud enough that it goes over the actual threshold of what the loudest level your DAW will record, and it breaks this magic plane that it has no way to uh, understand, or if you're plugged into a guitar circuit and you've reached the maximum voltage limit that that circuit will uh, allow you to do, then the signal is actually, instead of curving across the top of that plane, going to flatten out as it comes across that plane and go back down. So essentially you're taking these nice round sound waves and you're flattening them and pushing a what might be closer to a sine wave to be closer to a square wave in its actual form. Now you can do that by increasing the gain of that signal till it gets to be strong enough that it begins to break up and distort. Now actual distortion guitar pedals and stuff like that are far more specific to actually uh, manipulating which harmonics in the overtone series are being pushed and distorted and stuff like that. But in its basic form, you're taking those round sound waves and beginning to flatten them out and square them up. And when you get all the way to a fuzz guitar sound, you're, you're approaching square sound waves coming from your guitar. Now, let's take a look in Soundtrap just a minute and see what we can do. We're still working with our basic guitar sound. And we're gonna click on this icon to bring up our menu. And once again, we're gonna click on the effects. This time we're gonna add an effect and up here in purple, we have three very uh, distinct overdrive or distortion type pedals. So here's the classic distortion. It'll give you a sample of it. Versus a fuzz sound. Versus what we call overdrive. So we have uh, three choices here and all of them have the same uh, knob choices. The amount of distortion and the tone quality. So how much are we pushing that signal? How much are we distorting it? And the tone knob is kind of a treble bleed off. So if you think about the high frequencies, it's maybe a high cut um, provided to this. So we're going to start off with a low level to no level distortion. And we'll leave the tone all the way up so we use as much of it as possible. And I'll gradually add in the distortion. Now I'm going to put the distortion about here, and I'm going to allow the tone knob to do the work. Now, maybe there on this loop provides some uh, some level of distortion that would be useful to a particular uh, sound. 
it doesn't just have to be used on guitar loops. You could get a little uh, creative with it and add it in on a drum loop. We'll go with the overdrive this time. use these loops and or these pedals in all sorts of different ways so again that is distortion it provides different types of distortion are defined by different words you've got fuzz crunch growl drive um grittiness all these words kind of go into describing distortion in the long run but you just have to find the right type of distortion to fit uh what it is that you're looking to uh create with your tone so i hope you found this helpful if you did hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more